Hey guys, it's Daryl's Probs here, and this is episode 17, my Universal Minecraft Editor. Woohoo! Anyway, so on this one we're doing customised arrows. Now, you've probably seen these on modded maps and stuff before. Uh, all it is, is, as you can see, it says levitation there, in red. All it is, is a potion effect attached to one of the tipped arrows, okay? Pretty straightforward, but I'm going to show you how to do it anyway. But, yeah, as you can see, I've made this one a levitation arrow, but I've amplified up to the max, which is 127, okay? And now this one is amplified to 1, which is the least, so technically the worst. So, I've got a little test subject zombie here, and yeah, the way arrows work, if you didn't know, is left to right, so I'll show you the rubbish one first, and then the good one, okay? So this is uh, amplified number one of levitation, as you can see. Only lasts for five seconds. And now if I just switch these over, this is 127. <laughs> see how quick he shot up there. Anyway, so that's that. I'm not gonna show you all of these. Um, you can get the spectral arrow as well, but unfortunately it's not quite finished. I need to do that, there we go. That was some quick skills. Anyway, yeah, as you can see, it's not quite finished yet, but it is in the game. Um, I haven't renamed that. That is called Spectral Arrow anyway. But it doesn't have the glowing effect. But we can get the glowing effect, which is here. And yeah, that, that doesn't work. But it does give you an effect. So let me just hop into survival and show you. See? Now I'm glowing but I'm not glowing, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, that's that. That arrow's gone now. Um, we got some nausea ones. We got luck, bad luck. A lot of these you've seen in the past on different modded maps and stuff. I'll just show you the nausea one anyway. Um, oh, I fired that too hard. <laughs> too high. Anyway, let me just explain this to you as well. If I was in survival and I went up to this to grab it, it would crash my game. Now, guys, if... Oh, I think it has crashed my game anyway. It has. Anyway, that's what I'm trying to show you. I'll load this up again in a minute. If you are going to use these arrows and stuff, if you pick them up from the wall, it will crash your game. As you can see, I've crashed my game. So, please make backups if you're going to use these. I wouldn't personally use them anymore. Um, just because of this but anyway I'll hop back on the save show you what my little example was gonna be and then we'll go on the computer and edit this okay okay I'm back on the save guys so let's break this and I wanted to show you this little example in here this is what we're gonna do so for this custom arrows okay what you need to do is go on your you know your inventory on creative or whatever and grab yourself any type of arrow. Now in this chest I've got myself a night vision one. Put it in your inventory, like so. Okay. And we just need to save and exit. Right, let's load up this save. Go to our players. Go to inventory. And you've got yourself a tipped arrow, okay? So all tipped arrows come with a compound tag, like so. And it, what it is, is a potion effect on an arrow. Now in the description I have got this, okay, which is just like a Minecraft wiki potions section, okay. Now for this example I'm going to show you a levitation potion, okay, because <laughs> to me that's the best one, makes sense. Now all this list here with all these different names, different things, is all the potion effects. Now as you can see on here I've got night vision, yeah. Now if we look here, potion, no, here, it says night vision, look, this is night vision number one. Now you can't get a level two of night vision, so that's why it says that. Then you can get the extended one, which is when you add redstone. Straightforward, yeah? That's when you make potions. Now for levitation, it isn't actually a potion, is it? So you need to use this one, the uncraftable potion. So if I control C that and copy, and chuck that in here 
If I can grab it right, there we go. And paste. So that's that part done. Now I need to add another compound tag. Now this is personal, you don't have to do it, but I prefer it just because it makes your life a bit easier. So if you add a compound tag and call it display, then you can add a name to it. Now I'm just going to call this Lev Potion Amp 1. Okay, so I'm going to add an amplifier of 1 on it. Okay, so that's that part. Now we want to add a list tag. Okay, now this is where it gets quite important. So make sure you follow what I'm doing here. So this is the potion effect part. Okay, so we need to write custom potion effects. Okay. like so. Now you want to add a compound tag to that and leave it as it is, okay? Don't add any more things to that. That is it. Don't rename it or anything, that's what I'm trying to say. Now add yourself a byte tag in there and this one is just ID like that. Now I know the ID of levitation is 25, okay? But you'll see in a minute that will update and become the levitation, you'll see. So we want to add another byte tag now, okay? Now this one we call ambient, like so. And that is like a particle effect, but it's like, you can see the color, but it's like transparent, if you know what I mean. So it's kind of see-through. Um, but that's what beacons have, basically. It doesn't really do a lot, unless you want to see show particles, if you know what I mean. So you add one more byte tag, okay, so you need three in total, and this one is the important one, this is the amplifier. Uh, there we go. Now, this is how powerful it is, okay? So you can get one to 127, that's the max, because if you watch, if I type no, 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 and it starts going red, go to the last one, there you go, press enter, and you got that. But for this example, I'm showing you, you just do one, okay? And then lastly, all we need to add is a duration, okay? Uh, there we go. Did you see? It updated. So it says here, levitation, and there's a little picture of it. Zero seconds. That's because I've put the duration of zero. Now, if I put 100, oh, I didn't, there we go. If I put 100, it should say five seconds, yep. Now, this is how it works. Every 20 is one second, okay? So if I put 1,000, it'll be 50. If I put 10,000, it'll be five minutes. What? <laughs> Got that wrong, did I? Anyway, you know what I mean. Uh, so yeah, I'll just put it for 50 seconds, blah, blah, blah. Straightforward. And you can add as many effects as you want to this. So you can make like a god arrow <laughs> if you wanted. But that is pretty much it guys, I will hop on the Xbox now and show you this in action. Right, let's load this up and I should have in my hand a levitation arrow <laughs> instead of a night vision arrow. Yep, so it says lev potion amplify 1 and it says levitation 2 with 6 seconds. Ignore that, it doesn't mean anything. So if I grab myself a bow. And we'll shoot Mr. Test Subject, which is here, and boom. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it. So that's the end of episode 17. Uh, feel free to ask me some questions. Um, obviously, be careful with these arrows, because like you sh I showed you at the start, it does crash your game. Anyway, I'm Damaris Probs. Thanks very much for watching, and bye!